Kasang sang hima kabadan hakaliang persia ka National People's Party NPP kalak kentho ajur ya ka sarkar sanrop hapo ka jela ka balai alam da ka Congress ka Meghalaya United Alliance MUA2 ya ki kambut tu jongka ban thok ya ki dikhot jong artli ki sang lekno ki bala pendam kerteng ANVC bat ANVCB da ka basu sai ya ka soskular ya kreni sok klem da iPad ya ki jingirap kumbala kular Habe keren pikilak patai ku bor u working president ke NPP u Konrad Sangma u Long ba ke jing ekran iso ha pedang ke sorka jela bat ki atli ki sengle no ki bala penduk pendam ya ke ANVC bat ANVCB kala pau chai menta ba ke sorka jela kala thok syukur ya ki de khot jong kite ki atli ki seng bakin soi ya ke soskular ya ekran iso da ke bashkular bakan ai buan ki jing rap hendrai klem ka kam hendrai tang ke sentur u Konrad u Long Ba ka NPP ka dap da ka jing so kia ha ba yedei bat ka rukom im kini ki dikhot kam tam bat ka jing long shida jong ki ban syukok ngu ya ka ei ka bak sorkar ka lakular bat mentah ba ki lakala long biang kum kita ki nong lek sniw ha kemat ki pulet ke jela. I don't know what is the success rate in terms of you know what does government say is success if it is how to gauge it if it is killing the number of militants or number of individuals that were dying in Garuvils that is what it is and then it's quite sad actually because you see in this process you're not realizing what is the impact that you're having on the system on the society that is there on the youth that is there now police might say that we napped you know 100 militants this month this month you see they might say that but you know what half of these people are not even militants half of these people who are caught are people who have just somehow fallen into the web or the system of things and they are you know they 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 have been uh, you know they are becoming victims of the entire situation you call that success maybe temporarily it might look like that but in the long run you are actually spoiling the situation in karnataka and making it even worse i'll tell you if it is success why isn't the government given the state the stipends of anbc cadres if it is success why hasn't government till now given the relief package of minimum 2 and a half 3 lakhs what are the jobs for the ANVC cadres that the government has promised? Where is that? Correct. And if, if government cannot succeed in doing that, do you know what the implications of that are? Do you know that in the future, no organization, neither GNLA, neither, you know, or any of the other organizations, none of them will come out and want to go for ceasefire because they say, look what these guys did to them. Do you know two months or about a month <coughs> back, sorry, do you know that 30 militant, surrendered militants of ANVC surrendered, they were picked up by Meghalaya police. Even though the agreement says that all the cases against the, uh, the cadres will be removed. They will, they will not be charged on anything. But they were picked up just about two weeks, three weeks back. You can confirm this. About two, three weeks, they were picked up. After they were picked up, they were picked up from the houses, by the way. They, they're not, they were in the forest, they were in the houses. They were picked up from there, they were taken, and they're, you know, they're in jail and they're being tortured and beaten up. Do you think this is a good signal? Is this success? So just being able to squeeze people, okay, crush them, beat them up, kill them, that is not success. Government is not able to gauge what success means. This is a militancy and we keep repeating this thing, that government has failed to understand the issue. You see? Militancy is not the problem. We always say it is a socio-economic issue that is the problem. Militancy is a result of the problem. It is a consequence of the problem. The problem is socio-economic. So it's because socio-economic, the result is what? Is militancy. Yes, militancy has become a problem today now, finally. But it was not the main reason or the problem that we had. It is a result of the problem. So government fails to understand this aspect. And all their actions are just simply killing people, you know. So, I mean, these are not enemies or these are, you know, these are people who are going the right, wrong way. And our job is to bring them back. <coughs> so I think government needs to go for a multi-pronged approach, which we have been harping and you know, shouting every now and then. There has to be counselling, there has to be economic packages, there has to be job creation, and yes, there has to be operations also. But all have to go hand in hand. Uh, all I'm asking is that we have to gauge what success means. So yes, Mr. Kiran Rijitu has to come in and definitely has to say that things are in positive, things are you know, improving, because the Home Minister cannot say that things are doing now. Number two, I think you know, he is talking about uh, you know, the, the, uh, all the people that were caught and the militants that were picked up. Fine. That is one way of gauging it, but as I said, overall, things are not very good in Karugans. And I am worried, let me put this in officially, I am worried that if things continue the way they are, 
one year is going to be completed when ANVC's peace pact was signed. And till today, nobody knows. I mean, I was surprised to see that Deputy CM saying that now I have constituted a subcommittee to figure out which district council departments should be made uh, what uh, partially, uh, what's the word? Yeah, by the thing. It means one year has passed. You woke up today to figure out that the, the, the peace pact uh, agreement, uh, you know, the clauses are not being implemented. One year later, now uh, CM is calling a meeting to review the ANDC pact which is signed one year back. I mean, what is this? So, I mean, you can go on and on. Sorry, but uh, this is not a solution and it's not at all success. It's a big failure, I would say.